Hello everyone and welcome to my first book review. So today I have chosen one of my all-time favourite books to read to you. Uh, so this is a proper vintage book. Uh, it's a book that my mum used to read to me when I was little. So this book is Burglar Bill and it is by Janet and Alan Olberg. So this is one of my favourites to read still to my children, uh, mainly because I can do the voices. Um, it's just a really fun book and uh, it teaches a good lesson too. So I hope you enjoy it. Burglar Bill by Janet and Alan Olberg. Burglar Bill lives by himself in a tall house full of stolen property. Every night he has stolen fish and chips and a cup of stolen tea for supper. Then he swings a big stolen sack over his shoulder and goes off to work, stealing things. Every morning, Burglar Bill comes home from work and has stolen toast and marmalade and a cup of stolen coffee for breakfast. Then he goes upstairs and sleeps all day in a comfortable stolen bed. One night, Burglar Bill is working in a little street behind the police station. When he comes to the first house, he climbs in through the bedroom window and shines his torch around. That's a nice toothbrush, says Burglar Bill. I'll have that, and he puts it into his sack. When he comes to the second house, he climbs in through the kitchen window and shines his torch around. That's a nice tin of beans, says Burglar Bill. I'll have that, and he puts it into his sack. When he comes to the third house, he climbs in through the bedroom window and shines his torch around. That's a nice hat and coat and pair of trousers and socks and shoes says Burglar Bill. I'll have them. And he puts them into his sack. When he comes to the 16th house, he stops. There on the front step is a big brown box with little holes in it. That's a nice big brown box with little holes in it, says Burglar Bill. I'll have that. In the distance, the town hall clock strikes five. Time to stop work, says Burglar Bill. He swings the sack over his shoulder, picks up the box and goes home to have his breakfast. After breakfast, Burglar Bill plays with his cat by the fire. Suddenly, he hears a noise. Sounds like a police car, says Burglar Bill. But the noise is coming from the big brown box and it's getting louder. Sounds like two police cars, says Burglar Bill. He creeps up on the box and raises the lid. Blow me down, he says. It ain't no police cars. It's a baby. Burglar Bill puts the baby on the table. What was you doing in that box, baby? He says. But the baby only keeps on crying. All alone, says Burglar Bill, and pats the baby's little hand. A orphan. But the baby keeps on crying. Then Burglar Bill says, I know what you want, grub. Burglar Bill gives an apple to the baby, but the baby still cries. He gives a slice of toast and marmalade to the baby, but still the baby cries. He gives a plate of beans and a cup of tea to the baby. The baby eats the beans, throws a cup of tea on the floor and starts to laugh. That's better, says Burglar Bill. I like a few beans myself. Burglar Bill sits by the fire and wonders what to do. The baby is crying again. He gives the baby a football to play with. The baby throws the football at the cat and keeps on crying. He gives the baby a book to look at. The baby bites a hole in the book and keeps on crying. He sings a song and plays the piano to the baby. The baby cries louder than ever. He falls off the piano stool and bangs his nose on the floor. The baby laughs and shouts, Again! Again, says Burglar Bill. He rubs his nose. I didn't want to do it the first time. Burglar Bill bounces the baby on his knee. So you can talk, he says. Say, Burglar Bill, Buggler Bow, says the baby. Say, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper says Burglar Bill. Burglar Bill, says the baby. Suddenly, Burglar Bill feels his knee getting wet and smells a smell. Poo, I know what you want. Poo, says the baby. Burglar Bill changes the baby's nappy. He doesn't have another one, so he uses an old bath towel instead. Say, for he's a jolly good fellow for changing my nappy, says Burglar Bill. Burglar Bill plays with the baby and shows it around the house. He feeds it again, changes its nappy again, washes its clothes and hangs them on the line in the kitchen. When night time comes, he takes the baby for a walk in the park. Say, run for it if you see anybody, says Burglar Bill. Run for it, says the baby. At twelve o'clock, Burglar Bill comes home, puts the baby to bed and goes to bed himself. Soon he is snoring softly and dreaming of his childhood days. Suddenly, he wakes up. 
Downstairs, there is a noise. It's a noise that Burglar Bill has heard before. A noise of someone opening a window and climbing carefully in. Blow me down, says Burglar Bill. I'm being burgled. Burglar Bill creeps to the top of the stairs. Down below, a torch is shining and a voice says, That's a nice umbrella. I love that. Burglar Bill creeps down the stairs. The voice says, That's a nice tin of beans. I love that. Burglar Bill creeps along the hall and into the kitchen. The voice says, That's a nice date and walnut cake with buttercream filling and icing on top. I love that. Burglar Bill puts on the light. There, with a black mask over her eyes and her hand in the bread bin, stands a lady. Who are you? says Burglar Bill. I'm Burglar Betty, says the lady. Who are you? Burglar Bill puts on his own mask. Oh, says Burglar Betty. I know you. It's Burglar Bill. I seen your picture in the police gazette. Then she says, Look here, I'm ever so sorry breaking in like this. If I'd have known... Don't mention it, says Burglar Bill. He holds out his hand. Pleased to meet you. Likewise, I'm sure, Burglar Betty says. Burglar Bill takes a jug of cocoa and opens a packet of ginger biscuits. The two burglars sit round the kitchen table. You married, Bill, says Burglar Betty. No, says Burglar Bill. The right woman never come along. He offers the biscuits to Burglar Betty. She takes one and dips it in her cocoa. Only, I just wondered, she says, seeing all these baby things. Oh, I got a baby, says Burglar Bill. Found it on a doorstep in a box. In a box, says Burglar Betty. That's right, says Burglar Bill. A big brown box with little holes in it. A big brown box with little holes in it, says Burglar Betty. That's right, says Burglar Bill. Well, blow me down, says Burglar Betty. That baby's mine. The two burglars hurry upstairs to the baby's room. That's him, says Burglar Betty. She swings the baby in the air. You see, he's got this little birthmark on his leg and these are his own little clothes as well what his grandma knit him. Back in the kitchen, Burglar Bill makes a fresh jug of cocoa and opens a packet of arrowroot biscuits. Meanwhile, Burglar Betty tells him how she lost the baby. You see, I only left him on that doorstep for a minute when I was burgling the house and when I come out, he was gone. I thought the police had got him. I only thought it was a useful sort of box, said Burglar Bill. I never knew there was a baby in it till I got home. Burglar Betty gets ready to leave. I suppose your husband will be glad when you get back, says Burglar Bill. No, he won't, says Burglar Betty. I ain't got no husband. She dabs a little hanky to her eyes. You see, I'm a widow lady. Burglar Bill walks through town with Burglar Betty and the baby. You know, Betty, he says, getting burgled like that gave me a fright. I know what you mean, says Burglar Betty. Losing my baby like that gave me a fright. I can see the error of my ways, says Burglar Bill. I've been a bad man. Me too, says Burglar Betty. I've been a bad woman. I've been a terrible woman. Just then the baby starts to cry. Shh, says Burglar Betty. You'll have the police after us. Burglar Bill looks over his shoulder. From now on, I'm going to lead an honest life, he says. And all them things I pinched. And all those things I pinched as well, says Burglar Betty. All them things, says Burglar Bill. Mine and yours, Betty. We're going to give them back. So Burglar Bill stops being a burglar and, after time, starts working as a bread man in the local bakery. Burglar Betty stops being a burglar as well. When spring comes, she sells her house and gives the money to the Police Benevolent Fund. Then she gets married to Burglar Bill. Outside the church, Bill stands with the baby in his arms. Say, Bakery Bill, he says. Bakery Bill, says the baby. Say, for he's a jolly good fellow for marrying my mum, says Bill. Say, for she's a jolly good fellow for marrying him, Betty says. In the distance, the town hall clock strikes four. Bill, Betty and the baby leave the church, walk down the little street behind the police station and go home and have their tea.